Hi Pisces and welcome to your general love reading for the first half of May 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Pisces and it is a general reading so it's not going to resonate for all of you but if you would like a personal reading you can find all that information in the description box. And yeah because general readings just can't be as specific as personal readings. Also, because this reading is general, the roles can be reversed. All right, Pisces, let's see. What is going on with you? First couple weeks of May 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, starting off the reading, we have the Ten of Cups crossed by the High Priestess. Okay, so there is a connection here where there is a lot of love. I feel like there's a lot of potential here. Um, to have like a happily ever after with this person. Um, somebody is not really trusting their intuition though concerning this. So I don't know if that's you or if that's them. Let's see, for your energy we have the Seven of Swords, the Empress, and the Four of Cups. Okay, well it might be you. Maybe not. Um, but it definitely feels like, you know, there's something here where you are maybe just not being 100% honest, either with the other person or with your own self. We'll see. We'll see more when we clarify. But whatever this is, it's, um, it's making you feel a little dissatisfied. Like, you know, you just... Like, you don't have what it is that you want. You don't have that Ten of Cups. Uh, let's see. Again, roles can be reversed. All right, so for the other person, we have the Four of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and Strength. Okay, so we do have Leo showing up in this reading. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo. Um, this person, wow, I mean, they're, you're both feeling the same way I feel about each other. They're seeing this as a potential for marriage, too. There's a lot of love here from their, their end. Um, definitely, they're needing to be strong about something here. We'll see. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the Three of Wands. Okay, so looking out into the future, possibly even planning for the future here. Let's clarify. Let's see what's going on here, Pisces. I feel like you're, there's something here that you're not trusting. Let's see the Ten of Cups with the High Priestess. And we have the Five of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. Wow. Yeah, like literally. It's like, I, I feel like, you know, love is like right there. Love is right there. But somebody is not only not trusting this, um... It could be that this person, whoever it is, whether it's you or them, is really like dwelling on something from the past, um, still healing something or still needing to heal something from the past, almost feeling like they're trapped in this something that happened, something that happened in the past. And I feel like, you know, this person is not seeing very clearly at the moment and it's because they're feeling so much grief. Let's see that Seven of Swords for your energy. And again, remember, the roles can be reversed regardless of whether you're watching for yourself as a Pisces or if you're cross-watching for another Pisces, okay? It could go either way regardless. So, Seven of Swords. The Six of Swords and the Hanged Man. I feel like there's, it's like you're not trusting, you're not trusting um, something here. And I'm not saying that in the bad way, maybe you have your reasons, but it's like you're, it's like you're trying to move away from this connection because you don't trust it. But you're still kind of stuck on it though, that's the thing.
I feel like you're having a hard time. Well, it's almost like you're trying to just sneak away from it and it's it's like that that can't really work. Let's see the Empress. The Knight of Swords and the Moon. Okay, so there's your energy showing up here. All right. Again, this is all about really finding who you are and what you what you truly want. And I know trust can be a very serious issue to deal with. <clears throat> um, and again, I'm getting that you don't, you're not trusting something. And I'm not sure if it's that you're not trusting the other person or if it's that you're not trusting yourself. And it's like because of that, it's like you're you're just trying to like quickly. quickly take some action and again it's I feel like it's not it's not really taking you where you would want it to and if this is if this is your energy and you're the one watching you know you you can shift this that's why it's being presented here this is all <clears throat> everything we see is always in our control if it has to do with our own selves and so it can be showing up as as you know guidance or as a precaution so don't think that, you know, oh, this is it and this is doomed and this is, you know, my fate. No, you you can choose to do things differently. And it's, you know, th like the actual like specific guidance would be different for each of you because for everybody it could be something different here. But again, the roles can be reversed, okay? Um, but I do feel like there there is something that is really like suppressed here, possibly from the past, and that could be contributing to the to the trust issues if it's not something that you know is really really valid and I feel like for this particular situation whatever it is and I feel like oh my god like come to think of it I feel like something similar has come up in like at least two other zodiacs where you know there's not trust and it's not really based on something solid or something valid um, kind of like an illusion of a betrayal when it's not really that big of a betrayal. Kind of like that. That was actually in like two other readings. For you, it's a little bit different. It's more of just not trusting. Let's see that Four of Cups. The Empress again and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, so with the Empress showing up twice, I mean, Spirit is really saying here, you know what? Like, you can really find your own self. I feel like all of this, all of this, like, not trusting, it has to do with how you feel about yourself. And it, it's, it's all rooted in you trusting yourself first. Like, trust your own intuition. You know, if this feels right for you, trust that. Don't doubt your own intuition. If this doesn't feel right for you, well then, you know, trust that. Um, but make sure it's not coming just from a place of fear or from past experiences. Like the guidance here is to really just find that balance within yourself first before making any decisions to, you know, walk away or walk towards something. Find that balance within yourself and find that that part of you that you can trust. Okay, so let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's see the four of wands. And we have justice and the ace of swords, which actually just flipped over. Um, as I was shuffling as well. Um, okay, so Libra also showing up here for some of you might be dealing with a Libra. So I don't know what may have happened in the past with this person, but if something did happen, this person is definitely, definitely wanting to make things right here. And I feel like they have been wanting to make things right. It's not like something new. Um, this is like a very, very solid energy in this person, okay? Um, either way, this is somebody who definitely knows 
that this is what they want. They, they don't have any doubts about you. This is, they want you. End of story, period. <laughs> like that's just it. This person wants this connection. They feel like it is their truth. Yeah, um, they want it big time. Let's see the Ace of Cups, the Star, and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so Aquarius also showing up here. A lot of love, a lot of love. This is what they want. This is like their wish, um, but they're feeling a little bit left out in the cold here. They're feeling maybe even a little bit abandoned um, by you, probably because you're not trusting. And again, you know, like I said, if you, you might have your reasons, and if that is the case, you know, trust your intuition. I'm just reading what I see here. Let's see strength. The Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. I'm telling you, like, this person seriously wants this connection with you. I mean, look at that. I actually feel like they're being really, really strong in terms of dealing with the situation as it is at the moment and with, you know, what's going on with you. And in the meantime, you know, they may have taken a hit to their own sense of self-worth, um, but they're building it. They're building that. They're building that up. Um, taking care of themselves, just like, you know, you should also be taking care of yourself, but they still want, they want this connection with you. Like, I can't even stress that enough. <laughs> All right, let's see the, what was that? The Three of Wands for the potential outcome. And we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. Something is shifting here. Um, I feel like there is some kind of a transition that is happening here, or some kind of a shift. Um, I feel like it's mostly coming from you. I feel like it's coming from you wanting to move more towards okay, you know, just really thinking about this, researching it, and researching the possibility of this being, you know, something that you could have in the long term. Whether it is or isn't, I mean, that's, you know, going to be up to you because it from the looks of it, this person is really wanting you and wanting this connection, very serious about it. So I feel like this is you, you know, thinking, thinking ahead, thinking whether you can or, you know, or not. So this is, and I actually feel like this is also the guidance, you know, to, you know, research and trust yourself. And when I say research, I mean, you know, research your own self within you. That is the shift here. It's like, you know, you have to turn that wheel. It's all in your hands. All right, Pisces, let's see if this resonated. The final message for you is the void, of course, moon. Nothing will come of this situation, meaning nothing will come of <laughs> the energy that you have been in. Um, not trusting your own self, not trusting your intuition not trusting what you feel, you know, will bring you happiness, whether it's this person or not. I'm not saying it has to be this person, but it's like your intuition knows what it is that will bring you happiness. So just trust that. Don't stay stuck in something that is not that. Okay, so yeah, that is it. I thank you so much for watching Pisces and much love.